Hi, welcome to Anta Hospital's YouTube channel and today we'd like to revisit the topic of MRKH syndrome. Now if you're not familiar, this condition is a rare uh, disorder that affects a small group of women, mostly young women. They are also born with this condition which is the absence of a vagina and also a uterus. It could be partially absent or fully, completely absent. There are two variations of this MRKH syndrome. And what we'd like to discuss in this video is the treatment that we offer for patients who have this disease. Yes, this condition can be treated and can achieve a few goals that many of these patients want to have in their lives. Mainly, we increase quality of life and also potential to have your own children. So, what we do to treat this rare disease is to reconstruct the vagina, reconstruct the uterus, which we can do. Now what we call this surgery is a neomaginoplasty and uterine reconstructive surgery. It's a technical and difficult surgery that requires surgeons who have experience. Now, our surgeons have already done up to 5,000 cases of MRKH syndrome. Now we do it quite differently compared to conventional because previously we thought that there was complete absence and we needed to use graft tissues, for example, skin grafts from the peritoneum, the stomach, the intestinal mucosal tissues to reconstruct these structures, these anatomical structures. But we have uh, gone into deeply to research and study this condition with all the patient case studies. We found out that these women are not missing these tissues. Simply, it is not uh, made into the organ that we want. So the materials are actually there, it's simply just not formed completely or formed um, partially, formed abnormally. So what I mean is that, let's say we're talking about clothing, they have the raw materials to make the shirt, but there is no shirt present and they are not missing any raw material, which means material of cloth, string, all this is present within the pelvic cavity, within the reproductive regions within the walls so our doctors need to firstly identify all of these tissues the soft tissues the connective tissues the muscle tissues that comprise of these missing organs and then we simply reconstruct using these tissues so you don't need to have any transplant from the patient's mother you don't need to take any other graft tissues from any other parts all of these are present to a certain extent they might not be 100 percent present but at least we can get 80 to 90 percent of these tissues so many of these women, what they are constantly missing, what we notice is that they are missing tissues that make up the cervix and also tissues that make up the endometrium. If patients have these tissues, then they can actually menstruate regularly, the endometrial tissue and the cervix. If they don't have tissues that make the cervix, if we cannot reconstruct the cervix, menstrual blood will not be able to exit. And if they don't have endometrial tissues, they won't be able to menstruate. But what we can guarantee is that the vaginal canal can be reconstructed for all MRKH patients and the uterus as well. And upon this surgery, you can go for any other third-party hospital and clinic, do an ultrasound and you will see an anatomical structure of the uterus and the vagina. And no doctor can doubt that. You can see it on the ultrasound image as well. So what we are only concerned about is whether or not we can identify the endometrial tissue and the cervix, which we usually can, but if some patients are truly missing them, then they cannot menstruate regularly. But what they, all patients can enjoy a better sex life because the vaginal canal is guaranteed to be able to be reconstructed. And if you do want to have your own children, uh, what we suggest is that we need to reconstruct the entire reproductive system because usually for MRKH patients, these uh, fallopian tubes and the ovaries are also misplaced. So we simply need to reconstruct the uh, position of these organs, these attachments, and then you can go for IVF, collect um, uh, follicles from the ovaries, and then uh, go for reproductive assistance as well. This is the surefire way for you to achieve natural pregnancy. Because if you do go for live pregnancy after MRKH uh, treatment, we cannot guarantee success of live births. So IVF is something that you can consider and it's widely available as well. What you can enjoy is a better sex life and then you can potentially menstruate regularly with no 
assistance. So you, another important thing that I want to mention is that you will not need to wear a vaginal mold after this surgery at Ante Hospital. Of course, conventional treatments, they will need to, you to wear a vaginal mold and you will need to wear it continuously for several months. You do not need to do that here, which is another benefit. So we've already had 5,000 cases of these patients. All of them were successful. So many of them have gone for IVF, have their children and have their sex life restored. It also leads to marital stability as well and those who want to form relationships. So please get in touch with us if this video resonates with you and if you do suffer from MRKH or know someone who suffers from MRKH, please let them know that there is treatment available and quality of life can be restored. Please visit the website to set up a consultation and also leave me some feedback down below.